All right, so I just installed Obsidian here and it is plain vanilla out of the box Obsidian. And I'm coming from Evernote and from Notion where I can do all this stuff like project management and events and calendars and stuff. And I want to dive into Obsidian because I think this is going to be much better than those other applications out there. Let's see what we can do here. I can come in here, I can create a new note. I can come here and note one. I can create another note. Let me see note two. That is wild. I can create notes. I can put text in these notes. Okay, that's interesting. I can, let me see if I highlight. I don't get a menu bar here, but I heard that you can do markdown with these. So if I use markdown, all right, markdown works. So I can come in here and I can do things with the markdown. I want to have bold letters and italics. I can come in here and I can do that. All right, all that stuff works well. If I want to do linking, I, I, I kind of heard you can do linking, back linking. That sounded really cool. Okay, I can back link to other notes within in, in Obsidian here. And let's see, what else can we do? I can create a folder. Wow, this is, this is actually pretty cool. I can create folders, I can create notes. And what are the things that we have over here? I can create a daily note that automatically populates the actual date. And then I can just start journaling in here. Let me see, does the slash command doesn't work? Hmm, no slash command no formatting menu okay let me what else we got i can create a canvas let me see i can put stuff on a canvas okay we got multiple things on here i could probably just do some kind of thought mapping here where i can connect different things on the canvas that's pretty cool i can't do something like this here in notion all right this is wow but how can I add a database in here? I don't see any options to add a database. No slash commands to do anything here. Um, task management, project management. Where, are, where is all this stuff? I don't see it. Notion is, so all it lets me do is notes, text, linking between notes and text, put stuff in folders and then it has this canvas feature, but yet I can't connect my calendar. Oh, I guess, guess what? I did hear that you can have third party plugins that will give me all of that stuff. So let me see. If I go into the settings here, community plugins, community plugins, like any other software you install, could potentially cause data integrity and security issues. <laughs> okay. Wow, let's go ahead and enable this. I need to set up all the plugins so that I can get this Obsidian workspace to work just like my Evernote or my Notion. Uh, yeah, I got to have all that stuff. So let's go ahead and install these community plugins that could potentially cause data integrity and security issues. That makes sense. And I definitely need to take this simple Obsidian setup where all it lets me do is note taking and, and back linking and stuff like that there. Uh, who only wants that? I need project management. I need task management. I need events. I need to be able to collaborate with other people. I need all that stuff. So yeah, why wouldn't I install the third party plugins? It's just definitely makes more sense. I need to complicate the out of this. Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk to those people who say that Obsidian is too complicated because I've been using Obsidian for many years now. And after actually working with Obsidian, you know, I've come to realize that Obsidian is pretty simple. Uh, you know, a lot of people out there are coming from these different apps like Notion and uh, maybe Capacities and Evernote, so on and so forth. So 
they're coming from other systems that have a lot of features and in fact I would say that these other applications have way more complexity than the out-of-box experience that you get with Obsidian so Obsidian doesn't have a complexity problem in my opinion what it has is a simplicity problem it is so simple that when, once you get into it and you start working within Obsidian, the, the default is basically you create a note and you start typing. You really just need to feed it with text. But what happens, and from my experience and kind of from what I see uh, um, others doing here, is that they get into the app and because it is so simple, they want to do stuff that they they did in other applications like Notion and Evernote and all these other apps that have other features that um, are kind of combined into the app they cannot do it within Obsidian. Obsidian is basically straight to the point where uh, you open up a note and you feed it text. It asks nothing else from you just to do that. Now you can go in and you can you can add properties by default they now have properties you can use their canvas feature um, you can use their web uh, viewer and their plugin, um, their web plugin or web clipper, I should say, uh, are kind of the default things that you get out of Obsidian without having to pay for anything um, out of the box. And then you also have their templates that you can you can leverage templates within their environment. Now, outside of those different things, uh, most people their first level of complexity comes from what the folder structure. Uh, needs to look like or should look like everyone has their own way of spinning um, what this you know what their personal preference is for folders and then some people wants to style and you know set up the actual UI of the of the uh, the application itself whether they want to work in dark mode light mode they want to have different widgets here and there it's customizable to your delight you can customize the crap out of obsidian so while you have the ability to do this stuff you don't have to do it at all you can literally just not tweak anything and use obsidian and get you know great functionality from obsidian just the way it is now once you start to again try to transform obsidian to be more than what it really is and to be something that you've used before externally to obsidian that's when most people then turn to the community plugins and once you turn the community plugins on I think you really start to create a different beast here um, you're basically plugging stuff into obsidian that could um, be good it could be bad indifferent whatever but it's not vanilla obsidian once you start installing and enabling plugins so when people for the most part I think they say it's really complex it's because they're using these third-party plugins they're trying to uh, pull in their their calendar they're trying to do task management project management um, all kind of things that they can do in some of these other apps where the features are, are built into the product so once you get into obsidian and you start trying to leverage these third-party plugins things do get complicated so for those of you who use obsidian you know I'd like to see some feedback what do you think about Obsidian being complex. Do you really see it as the core features of Obsidian being majorly complex? Or am I on to something here where it's that Obsidian is so simple that we need to kind of go in and bolt on stuff to make it work the way we want it to work instead of the way it was meant to be used? So I'd like to hear your feedback put those in the comments so that's going to be it for this video if you like the content on this channel don't forget to like and subscribe and until the next time have a nice day